When the sun goes down, our imaginations go to work, wondering just what could be laying out there in the darkness. In northern Missouri, we know there's all kinds of weird and strange creatures that could be out at night. Tonight, we go on a hike. We go on a hike to discover, is it really as scary as we think? Or is our imaginations just getting the best of us? All right, guys, hey, welcome to tonight's night hike. I'm Cody Green, some of you guys may know me from past years. Ooh, we're hearing birds flying around here, it's awesome. We're out here on this dark, dirt road to see what we can find laying out here tonight. I got my buddy Trent filming with me. Trent, say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. All right, yeah, we are ready to go. Super excited for what we can find out here in the grand old Missouri. Kind of creepy, isn't it? Are you a little scared? You a little nervous right now? Yeah, Trent's shaking his head. He's a little nervous right now. You know, who knows what could be out here. Um, so we're going to see what we can find. And hopefully, after we get done with this, we realize, hey, maybe we're going out nice, not as scared as we think. But always make sure, you guys, youngins, Take your parents along with you. So hey, you ready to go? Alright, let's head out. Lighting is so important when taking these kinds of hikes. Keeping a light handy to check out for any kind of critters growing along through the grass. Or keeping your eye out underneath your feet where there may be all kinds of bugs and spiders and snakes just waiting for us to find them. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, guys, look at this. Hey, buddy. All right, we have a snapping turtle here, guys. They are so cool. They got some claws with these claws. Turn, look down, look at that. Oh, yeah, watch your fingers, though. These guys, if they get a hold of you, they actually got raised on the side of their mouth and they will actually cut through some of your hand. Oh, hey, buddy. So you guys gotta be super careful whenever you are uh, out here messing with these guys. Uh, yeah, so you make sure to keep your fingers away. These guys take a nice punch, you can lose a finger. We, these guys have the ability sometimes even to break a glass bottle. Not careful. He's not too big. I've seen some bigger, and some of you guys probably have too. But really need to see one of these guys out here on the road. Yeah, we're going to a different pond. <laughs> Maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa! Look, dude, look at this. Look at this. Oh wow! Look, hey, this is a whoa! This is a huge spider. What? In the Whoa. All right, this, I think it's a wolf spider. Yeah, yeah, because, oh. So you see this big, this big thing. Oh, hold still, hold still. You see this big hump on the back is actually uh, her babies. They'll actually will do this wolf spider. The babies will cling to the backside of the mom. And, oh, oh, hold still, hold still. Hopefully she'll hold still here so we can give you a shot. Oh, calm down, calm down. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh wow, I just want to get a good shot of her here. Yeah, the uh, a lot of people I know in the past when they've, they've killed these spiders, if there's babies on the back, the babies will just scatter and it almost becomes a bigger problem than what uh, just having this normal spider walking around on its own can be. But wow, this is amazing. This, I'm not even sure why the camera even does this justice. This thing is huge. Like here, like if you look at my hand com compared to the spider, hopefully, hopefully she won't move here. Um, Man, some of you guys are already getting nightmares. Look at that, even compared to my thumb. This thing, the whole body is about the size of my thumb. Just looking at this spider. Wow, that is awesome. That is super cool. Man, now we just gotta get her off the road here, maybe just cause, uh, get these babies off of, get that nice, safe and sound, you know, so she's off the road away from getting hit. But man, look at this. Oh, that's so cool. been good. Now, if you guys look at this, um, man, I hate I hate finding uh, pop cans out here like this on the road. Guys, if you're ever traveling on your car, make sure you're taking care of this and make sure you're putting it away in a trash can. Never throw your 
you know you're, you're trash out on the road like Ooh, look what we got here, what we got here. Oh, don't go away, don't go away. Ooh, frog. No paper. Hey, buddy. Oh, look what we got here. Are you ready for this? We got a little baby. Looks like a little baby tree frog. These guys just love to climb on people's houses at night and make a lot of noise. They really do. A lot of times they're chirping, trying to find a mate, aren't you? But you're just a itty bitty guy, aren't you? Yeah, you're pretty cute. You are really cute. What are we doing out there, huh? that. Want to get on top of that? Well, you're okay. You're okay. Notice how gentle I'm being with him, just making sure, hey, I'm not a predator. I'm not here to eat you. You know, I'm just here chillaxing, having some fun. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome shot right there. Look at that. Look at those cute little eyes. His little throat going. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're so cool, aren't you? Yeah, I see you. I see you. Yeah, you're so cool. That's an so awesome cool. shot. I like that. All right, we're going to put him back right where he belongs. All right, here you go, buddy. Here you go. Oh, off oh. the road. Off the road. There we go. Off the road. Nice. Look at this. I literally about walked up into this. It's a silkworm. Yeah. He's climbing on up. Come on, buddy. Get it. Get it. Come on. I believe in you. I believe in you. Work it, buddy. Work it. No, we're just having some fun. Just about walked into this guy, though. Some of you may be thinking, eh. But you ain't going to hurt anybody, are you? I almost bet if we look up, Cody. Chupacabra. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Up there. No, we are good. There should be more of them. There they, could be. They'll completely take over a tree and ruin entire branches. Right. right. Well, buddy, we're gonna let you go. You keep on climbing. I believe in you. It's like the little engine that could right now. <laughs> yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. All right. How's that camera? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 guys, look, look, look at this, look at this. Hey, we got another frog. Hey, it's it's a toad. Oh yeah. Oh, whoa, hold on, buddy. Hold on. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. We're not here to eat you. It's all good, calm down. Uh, hopefully we can get him to stop here a second and we can, uh, we can get some nice film of him here. Come on, come on, it's okay. Goodness, he's, he's jumping tonight, isn't he? Goodness. All right, all right, okay, maybe he's calmed down here for a second. All right, look at this. Oh yeah, a lot of you guys have probably seen these guys around your house, you know, they've not been a big issue. Um, they're just kind of fun to play with and stuff. A lot of people have actually thought that, you know, a toad, when you pick them up, sometimes they'll pee on you. A lot of people think that that is what can give you warts, and that's actually not true at all. That's actually just a myth, but a lot of people probably thought that just because they have warts on their backside. But no, these guys are pretty cool. They're probably out here just catching some bugs, chillaxing, uh, doing his thing, you know. But that is so cool getting to see these guys out here on the road. Uh, yeah, giving us a nice little show here, aren't you, buddy? Yep. Alright, that's awesome. We're gonna get you off the side. Just like that. Just like I said. Hey, he's a good listener. Maybe he speaks English. I don't know. Oh, that's perfect. Let's keep on going. We got something exciting at the end of the room. Starbucks. saw some shine here on the road guys and we got some some 380 casings somebody's been doing some target shooting down here I'm gonna leave their casings out here they're silver these are shine I bet if we look here we may find yep yep here oh here's some more here's some more awesome it's always kind of cool just to find these things I know uh, they're just laying out here but I don't know I'm a, I like shooting guns I like guns but these are some different things you can find that 
out here on your night hike who knows what else there I don't know if there's any more or not but hey kind of cool so what we got here guys this actually the road we're walking on it used to be an old railroad track road that was a spike this is awesome at the end of this we got something really neat we're going to show you guys so make sure you keep watching because we're going to find out what is at the end of this trail but that's cool. This is a real spike there. Kind of a cool prelude to what we're going to find, Cody. It is. A very cool prelude. That is awesome. But I think I'm going to... I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but we have probably a raccoon looking back at us here in the tree. I don't know if we're going to get a good spot to him. He's probably going to go start hiding. Yep, yeah, it's oh, a raccoon. There he is. Yep, there he is. See? He's right there. You can barely see him. I know the GoPro can't zoom in. But you know what? Hey, let's try something. Let's see if we can call him out to come and get a little bit closer to us. I think you guys can see his eyes. That's awesome. Hey, buddy. Yeah, just checking you out. All right, let's see if we can. Since I have the light directly on him, he cannot see us, but we can see him. That's probably why he hasn't run away yet. I can see his eyes every so often. Climbing that tree. Sorry if you guys can't see this, but he's actually climbing the tree right now. Probably trying to get a better look at what's going on over by us. doing pretty good in that tree. That's so cool. Glad we got to see him. Even though we didn't get so up close. But that's okay. Now remember, if you do get up to a raccoon close, do not try and touch them. They are mean and they will shred you. Yeah, so then you gotta check the rabies too because they can carry. But they do say every once in a while, I know people have had them for pets, but I'm sure there's some regulations on that. We have to talk to conservation department. They can be a lot like cats, but that's only if they're raising from a baby. But other than the wild, here in the wild, I don't want to try to know the wild raccoon. Alright, let's keep on going. We are almost to our destination, guys. Oh, what was that? Oh, no, never mind, nothing. Um, we are almost to our destination. We are getting real close to figuring out what is here at the end of the trail. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. This is it. Take a look. Yes. Look, I am already up off the ground right now. This is an old railroad bridge. Yes, this is awesome. This is so cool. You can see, all, you can see down through the cracks. A little bit we're gonna go farther down here so you can see the river down below the bridge this this place is so cool it's such a place a cool place to hang out and to be out here at night to check it all out it almost seems a little creepy but it is so so cool you can actually still drive across this bridge a lot of people will do that uh, let's see here let's get out to the middle and uh, take a look Good. 
waters. Yeah, you can hear the water running below. Let's see if we get a view here. Yeah, I'm getting out towards the middle of the bridge right here. Yeah, wow. So cool. I don't know if you can see down into the water from there or not, but man, that's a little bit of a drop. A little bit of a drop. You're scared of old bridges. Uh, probably wouldn't be one for you to go across, but if you just love places like this, this is just super cool. You see a lot of people have kind of been drawing around some graffiti on here, unfortunately, but man, it's just it's just a really neat spot. I know a lot of people come out here and take family pictures and stuff, but man, that's such a drop. <laughs> so your drop. So when I make sure kids, yeah, you don't you don't want to be hanging out the edge too much like this. I gotta be super careful about not falling through. Such a neat little area. Well, I guess it's time we better head on back to the car and see. Maybe hey, who knows? We may find something on the way back. This would be super cool. But this is such a neat ending to our little end of the trail here. We start heading our way back to the car. So I am, uh, I'm going to call here and see if we can get the cows to talk to us. A lot of times if you howl, you can maybe get them talking, so that's what we're going to do right now. Let's see if we can get them to talk back. So what these will usually do, coyotes well, it sounds like something's moving over there. But coyotes, when one group will start howling, another group will start howling, and another group will start howling and another one. And it's fun, you can just hear them go from one section to another group of them and another group of them. And a lot of times there's not as quite as many as what you think. A lot of times there's a lot less. There's usually maybe about, I mean, it sounds like there's a group of like five to 10. Oh, there's another group sound over there. There's usually only maybe like three, maybe even two, maybe four, but you never know. But they have a way of sounding like there's a lot more of them than there really are. So that's what's really cool about cows. We remember they are a lot like deer and they will actually, they will actually smell you a lot of times before you ever get near them. They have a very, very good sense of smell and they're very good eyesight as well. But they really do rely on that smell. So whenever they smell you guys out in the woods, a lot of times they're out of there. They're not wolves, they're not there to attack you. They're just, they're ready to get out of there. But that is so cool listening to that. I'm glad they were answering us, that's awesome. Keep on heading back to the Jeep though. Hope we don't run into them. Nah, they ain't gonna be close. We'll be good. So, uh, some definite things that you guys wanna think about if you're thinking about doing your own night hike. You definitely want to make sure that you go with somebody, um, especially as a younger age. You don't want to be out here by yourself because a lot of things could happen. Maybe you even were to twist an ankle, you know, or to, you know, get someplace where you couldn't get out, whatever, uh, have some kind of injury, a snake bite, whatever, and you need somebody there to help, you know, get you out or help call 911 or call somebody that knows where you're at. Um, but that's the other thing. You want to make sure that people know where you're at. You never want to go out without telling people where you went because if something were to happen, they have no way of finding you. So that always gives them a chance to give them a head start and know that, hey, you didn't get back with them. And maybe you let them know, hey, I'm gonna get a hold of you this time. If I don't, you try to get a hold of me, something could be wrong. That's always smart to do. Um, first aid, a simple first aid pack that you can fit in your backpack. It's a great idea too. Um, for any maybe scrapes, cuts, if you've 
have to fall, like I said, twist an ankle, you need to wrap your ankle, things like that. Um, if you get bitten by something, who knows what. It's always just a smart idea to have. Um, maybe pack some kind of water. Um, compass is always good. Try to find your way back. You always want to make sure that you can find your way back from wherever you started from. It's very, very smart to do. If you're out here at nighttime, let me tell you, me and Trent, we've been getting eaten alive, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's been crazy. We've been getting eaten alive. So bug spray would be a very good idea if you're going to have lights with you on a night hike. You might want to say um, that again just for emphasis. <laughs> bug spray. Legit. You've probably been able to see some of the bugs flying around tonight. Um, definitely think about sun lotion if you're going during the daytime. Um, think about boots. Think about what kind of boots you're going to want. Some things that are sturdy right now. I got some muck boots on. Why do you guys have that? Just because it's a little, a little bit softer places. It could be muddy out here. Um, but yeah, you just want to be prepared. Think every situation through, even some bad situations of what you would do. We want to make sure, ideally, you're in a place that you have good signal so you can make a phone call. Um, you, you got to be very careful if you're going to places that you don't have any signal. So just some simple things like that. And if you think you hear something out in the woods, it doesn't mean you need to take off running. You want to be smart, stay where you're at, maybe listen a little bit, find out what it is. It could be a squirrel. I think all of us know if we've been out deer hunting, you have a squirrel running through the leaves, it sounds like something huge, you know, or it's a deer coming through and it just turns out to be a squirrel. So not everything that you hear out here is out here to get you. You know, you just got to be smart, take your time, be wise, watch out for that poison ivy, and keep on going. There's some very, very good things that you guys can do to take care of yourself while you're out here at night. Oh, we're getting back to the Jeep. We're getting there, guys. Our trip is almost done. After getting to the end of the trail, I think we can all realize that not everything in the night is as scary as we may think. There's all kinds of amazing creatures that are out there just waiting for us to find them. But if we stay smart and go with a buddy, you too can explore the night. Stay strong and be green. We'll see you guys later.